This afternoon, we approached Zek to give them what they didn't expect. We are not approaching Zek as MDC Alliance. We are approaching Zek as a new organization. So they kept on insisting that, look, we know you as MDC Alliance. Said, but who are you to tell us who we are? We are a new organization. Anybody launches their party anytime in terms of the laws of this country. So for that reason, we are coming as a new entity with a new leadership, with new values, new structures. Alas, they would do it. We want MDC Alliance. Tell us that you are rebranding. We are not rebranding. If you know MDC as a brand, please dine with those whom we have given MDC Alliance. We are a new party. Nothing to do with the past, nothing to do with the yesterday. We are starting afresh. We will build from ground zero. We will start afresh. We will defeat them like we did in 2018. We will start afresh. Yes. They wouldn't take it. They had meetings after meetings with our senior leadership. We have given them our new logo. We have given them our new name. We have given them our new leadership. We have given them our new trust, except our new strategy. Everything else we have given them in terms of the dictates. Two weeks ago, Honorable Charlton Wende, who is a member of parliament, elected on a triple C ticket, approached us and requested for a sit down on this your favorite show, The Free Talk, in proud partnership with the Frederick Newman Foundation and me, your host as usual, Dara B, so that we can get to understand the what, why, and where in the triple C as the party disintegrates and is in sixes and sevens just immediately after a general election. So we being leaders for diversity of views, we agreed to have the sit down with Honorable Chauton Wende and ex so that he could tell his story to us. We promised you that today we will air that interview with Honorable Charlton Wende. Unfortunately, we can't air the interview because as we speak, he is in Namibia. He says he has to head to rush there to attend to his son who is admitted in hospital. I we wish his son a speedy recovery and the Honorable Member safe trip back home. But this seat, this hot seat, will remain open for him once he's available, so we can give him a chance to be heard. Now here on this, the Free Talk, in proud partnership with the Frederick Newman Foundation, we always believe that a diversity of views is what builds a nation. As we wait for that interview to take place, I sit down with another politician in this episode to try and give you a clearer picture of the what, where, how, and when on this The Free Talk. So join me on this episode of The Free Talk as we talk and do some business. At the center of politics is assuming power, and after getting that power, it is the ability to be able to deliver. Now, the opposition in Zimbabwe has been accused of getting power, especially in urban areas, 
after getting that power, they have nothing to show for it. They've been accused of failure in service delivery. They've been accused of failure of even managing their sales politically. And on this, the free talk, we talk about these issues so that we give you the answer. Now join me on this, the free talk, in proud partnership with the Frederick Newman Foundation for Freedom, where I am in conversation with the Harare City Council Mayor, His Worship Jacob Mafume, who has also recently climaxed in his political journey and is now the spokesperson of the main opposition, Triple C. Now join me after this break as I get into some business. to this the free talk in proud partnership with the Frederick Newman Foundation for Freedom. In this episode, I'm talking to the Arari Mayor, His Worship Jacob Bafume, a lawyer by profession, the politician coming from the Triple C. I'm not sure which Triple C at the moment, but thank you very much, Mayor, and welcome to this the free talk. Thank you, thank you, blessed, always a pleasure. Beautiful. Mayor, mm -hmm. you you ascended to this position, your second term mm -hmm. uh, as mayor of Harare. Equally, your first ascendance as mayor was through the recall of, uh, of the mayor who was there. And at this moment, you have also ascended through recalls. How does it feel? Well, uh, it's, it's probably the lack of the draw or the misfortune of the draw. Uh, we would have wanted to get these uh, uh, positions in a more formalistic manner, uh, in a more um, structured manner. But as life would have it, as fate would have it, uh, politics happens. Uh, you know, people leave offices, suspensions, uh, recalls, and so forth. And uh, I then find myself uh, being... Uh, uh, being the best placed person to be able to carry on uh, the managing of the institution. And, and, and I've accepted uh, that uh, probably that's uh, uh, my fate. You know, we in, in, in soccer, uh, I support Manchester United. We used to have Ole Gansowska. He was our best player, but would always come in as a substitute, maybe. I am the substitute mayor. But do you do you feel you know indebted to Sengezu Chawango because he had to recall two people to make way for it? Well, I don't feel indebted to him at all because when he recalls, it's not automatic that I come in. So he recalls somebody. It's like somebody died. Uh, it's like thanking God for someone to die so that you can be the editor of a newspaper. Uh, you have no say in it. And what happens is that it is not automatic. God does not say when somebody dies, therefore put blessed. Nor did uh, he, he indicate in any of his letters that uh, if I recall so and so, put uh, 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 Jacob. Um, the people are recalled. The same party, the same caucus that put Ian Maconi is the same caucus that put myself inside. Uh, and and the, just like the last time when Muonzora recalled uh, Herbert Komba, the same caucus that had put Herbert Komba is the same caucus that put me in. And you remember, uh, uh, we had so many court battles to remain there. So when one is recalled, it, you don't come with a replacement letter. You, the law says the people who belong to the party of the recalled person must appoint and unfortunately it gives a timeline 30 days uh, if you don't appoint a mayor in 30 days the law then says the minister will pick among the councillors so you can't wait for the other person to come back because the by-elections happens in 90 days so therefore you then have to appoint as of necessity or elect 
as of necessity. So I'm very clear that I'm indebted to the 22 triple C councillors that voted against the 10 uh, ZANU PF and the other 15 triple uh, C councillors that wanted uh, someone else. So those are the people I think, and then the voters that made me cancel. Amazing. But let us talk about, um, you know, recent remarks that you have made, uh, Mayor, uh, before we get to the issue of service delivery. Because mm. at the center of service delivery is the structure of your political party. Mm. Let us talk about your political party. Um, you, you've made mention that it has gone back to 2019 structures. Can mm. you explain that for us? Well, uh, it hasn't gone back. It never left the 2019 structures. I remember our president, Nelson Chamisa, became president because of 2019. He was elected the MDC Alliance president. Um, then we had uh, disputes with, uh, uh, with Monzora. And before those disputes could uh, be concluded conclusively in the courts, we had a situation where the by-elections came upon us. And then we had to rebrand uh, through the National Council which set on 22 January, and in, pre in anticipation of uh, 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 the, the, the by-elections. And we resolved to rebrand uh, uh, the party, as it were, and the rebranding was then uh, made uh, into, triple, into triple C and the yellow color, and we did that. And uh, we then never then held a meeting uh, to look at that. We were supposed to hold a Congress, or due to hold the Congress this year, towards the end, to be able to then assess what we have done. Do we adopt this permanently? And so forth and so forth. And unfortunately, before we could get there, uh, our president, uh, uh, Nelson Chamisa, um, for reasons that he elaborated in a lengthy 30-page letter, uh, decided to to resign. And but it, and, and, and aren't you fudging facts here? Mm -hmm. Because it is it is replete in pub in the public domain that when you launched the triple C, when your president launched the triple C as it may uh, at Bronte Hotel, he said that we are doing away with the old. This is the new. It has nothing to do with the past. Well, those are sentiments that we make. Every politician believes that he's born again. Uh, every time they say something, we are a new party, we are doing uh, the, the old, we, we believe that we, we, we are new, whatever that means. Uh, it doesn't mean that you, you resign. He didn't resign then when he launched the party. His presidency was, was not because of his announcement at Bronte. He arrived there as the president of a party and announced no, no, that... No, Nelson Chamisa was fired from the MDC by Douglas Monzor, who was the president. It remains the president. MDCT. Yes. Yes. He was, he, he was fired. Yeah, MDCT. It's, 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 it's different from MDC Alliance. The MDCT still exists up to now. The, the president is still Monzor. Hmm. Our president never claimed to be the, the, the president of the MDCT. He was the president of the MDC Alliance. He went into election as a candidate of the, president of the MDC Alliance. The MDC Alliance was a loose coalition of seven political parties. It was not a political party, was it? Pre-2018, it came in with a global agreement. The global agreement was then changed into a constitution in 2019. At our, you were there, at our Congress. We then made the MDC Alliance a party uh, together with a, a constitution the constitution you, you, you made you made the MDC alliance a party yes. taking from the MDCT. No. Yes, it, because it, because you took seven political parties, including the MDCT. Yeah, and Douglas Monzora, Morgan Komichi, were coming from the MDCT were there. You were coming from PDP, those were coming from the yes. MDC were, were there. Yes. How do you then sit there as a lawyer clearly saying something that doesn't make sense? No, His Worship. You, you, you might want to say you don't understand it. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. The MDC, an organization is brought together by a constitution. So the moment we had a constitution 
which was written and presented to the Congress by uh, the, the president-elect of the MDC Alliance, uh, uh, Nelson Chambers. And this is a constitution which was presented to many courts. It's, it's, a, it's, not a, it's not a figment of my imagination. The MDC Alliance is a constitution. And in that constitution, it has office bearers and conducts. And we conducted our businesses, court actions and activities beyond uh, 2019, using and based on that election. And, he, which, he, and he, all the courts failed hmm. to recognize that you had the MDC Alliance. In fact, in fact, the court said the MDC Alliance was not a political party. was that? Uh, the, the, the Supreme Court, Justice Omaji, in his own words, you might want to cross-check it, said the parties have moved apart. This one is called MDC Alliance. This one is called MDCT. A lot of water has passed under the bridge. The MDC Alliance has held its own Congress, has got its own constitution. But the judge, and, and he said in his own words, what we are now analyzing might as well be academic because we are going back to the time and, when and, it was 2018. And, and now being academic, as you are saying, because, for instance, I know you went to the, to the court, and, and the court clearly dismissed the MDC Alliance as a non-legal persona no. With, no, with no constitution. No, 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 no. That was the argument uh, that you, you were a political party with no, no constitution uh, and therefore there, cannot uh, enjoy a juristic person. I, I was involved in those court cases. Yes. The, you, you can struggle. You will not find mm -hmm. any court that said we are not a juristic person mm -hmm. because we filed. We actually won cases. We won the case for the financial uh, ca uh, cases. We actually took many electoral challenges, like the electoral laws, uh, voter registration issues, using the MTC. That was before the Supreme Court Constitution. That no, was no, the, no, even between, after. But that was before no, the no, Supreme no, Court even, ruling. No, no. Because after the Supreme Court ruling, no. you did not win a single case no, as we, MDC allies. No, 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 no. We, we won. We've got so many uh, uh, cases that we held as MDC Alliance on various subjects. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's uh, really no, no nothing that nullified the Constitution. Mm -hmm. Or let's do it this way. There is no court case or no judge that said the MDC Alliance Constitution does not exist. So let, let us move on. Yes. Let us move on. Uh, it is Washington. there. It let is us, there. The, the MDC Alliance is established. It is there. Mm. Its Secretary General is Chelton Wendell. Yes. But she's been silent has not even bothered to go to court or done anything to say, I'm the Secretary General of this political party and not Sengezo Chabango. Now, may, maybe you can help us understand when you put Sengezo Chabango as the Interim Secretary General. Well, at that time when this whole Sengezo thing uh, came into place, we, the President was still there. He directed the, how we responded to the court cases. Uh, he was leading the main strategic camps. He was advised by a plethora of lawyers. He had his own way of and, dealing. And, and, and as a whole national, as a whole leadership, mm -hmm. elected at Congress, sat there and said, because the president is a directed, none of you, not even you as a member of the C, not even the Secretary General in public, could stand up and say, Sing is There, there is was a, a protocol in our party. There are people who speak for the party. They did speak for the party. We never distanced ourselves mm -hmm. from the official spokespersons no, your, of the party. Your, your, your vice president, when we called him, he said he's not going to be involved in kindergarten politics, and that was Walsh Mengwe. All he can speak for himself. But, you, but, what, but what I'm saying... But you said you have never. I'm giving you an you example. You, yeah, that's I, I said you as a whole as political a, yeah, party. But he's not the only leader. Mm -hmm. uh, and also saying that he won't involve himself in kindergarten politics mm -hmm. means he probably thought what was happening was kindergarten. Maybe his assessment was that the, the arguments by Shenge should do not make sense. But look, a party has got protocols. A party, when it's responding to an issue, you don't pop corn from elsewhere speaking about this and that position. Because if you do that, what if you end up jeopardizing the case? You then be accused of having been working with Senges. We all, as a party, stood. We had, of course, private discussions about the strategy. But when it goes to the public, there was a, a president who spoke. There were people who were directed to speak about this issue. 
And they were lawyers, not mm. one lawyer. They were lawyers that uh, were handling the situation. All, all, of, all of these people that you say were elected mm. in, at, at your Congress, after their election, they put on their bios that they are vice presidents, they are this and this and this, right? And even after the Triple C was formed, they mentioned that they were vice president of the Triple C. But yes. they, they changed those bios and removed that. And immediately after Nelson Chamisa left, they put that back. I mean, is that not jupiter's? Is that not hypocritical? Well, look, a person's Twitter bio uh, is exactly that. I, I'm sure you've put many things on your Twitter bio. It does not remove one day, I can put myself as mayor, I can put myself as lawyer, or I can have reasons why I'm changing my Twitter bio. But as a lawyer and as an institutionalist, the, the, the position does not change because of your Twitter uh, or your social media activities. We have formal processes that were done. The, 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 why the president felt the need to actually resign formally is because even if he had just changed his Twitter bio to say, I am not uh, 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 this, and he did, does change his Twitter bio sometimes. When, when you say he resigned formally, can you please explain? Because he wrote a letter. To who? Eh? To the organization. Which, which to organization? The, your, your vice president, that you say is your vice president and rotational uh, uh, basis, Tendaibiti, sat there and he said, I only saw it on Twitter. I did not see that letter being handed over to the party directly. The party spokesperson who has been speaking all along, Pronimis Mkwanans, is still in office, claiming to be a party spokesperson. And you are now a party spokesperson. Yeah, we, we wanted, uh, you know, when uh, a father leaves a household, uh, as they, they've done, maybe they've gone to an era, or they've simply resigned. You know, you can simply say, I no longer want to be a father of this family uh, because of one reason or the other. Uh, it is upon the children uh, that remain in that family to say, look, this is the eldest uh, of, of the children here. Can you please take over uh, the fatherly duties, maybe until we understand where exactly uh, the father has gone what is his plans? He maybe he's going to an era, or maybe you want to go and find whether he's now got a new wife. But, and but so may, forth. May, may so I, do, we, do you think people so can trust you, trust you guys as mm, a political party mm, if you can openly fudge facts and history in their presence? Nelson Chamisa, when he was your president, mm, you did not, not a single one of you mm, said to him or openly criticized him publicly that <coughs> what you're saying is wrong. He we, said that we don't have the position of a vice president. We don't have a president of SG in our party. He said this. Where have press, they gone? Press statements. Did he say where they went? Uh, he said, he said, he said mm. when you were standing, I'm sure, I'm sure when the party was launched, <laughs> Jobs color was standing. Oh, oh, all right. What was his position previously? Who? Nelson Chamisa. No, you tell me. He was the president. Did he say there was no longer any president? He remained the president. And as a matter of record, he was our no, presidential but, but, but candidate. When, my, my question to and you... If you look, my question if to you... you look at the no, no, no. My question to you... Yeah. Uh, 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 you you, you want us to jump up and down at a press conference to say, hey, president, we don't understand what you're saying. You agreed with this, no, how, and, how, you, and you remain how, how quiet until until saying is Chabang. It's like you remaining quiet. If I start rambling here, you know, you will give me time to no, to, I won't. to talk. Well, no, you, you you are like right now you are listening to me. When someone is conducting a press conference and they say things, what when they say, there will always be a time as a leadership where you go behind closed doors, and uh, the, you asked, what did you mean? And then the person perhaps says, ah, look, you know, I was talking about where they knew to invigorate the voters. We're going into an election. That's what you said? Uh, well, no, I'm saying. Tell uh, us what you said, because this is the purpose of the interview. Tell us the facts. Let's not, let's let me not tell have... you the facts. Yes. Tell the us fact, the facts. The fact is, President Nelson Chamisa 
did not was not born a president. He was made a president of our party in 2019, as much as everyone else was made an office bearer. Our president only resigned uh, a few weeks ago from that presidency, which he was bestowed on in 2019. And everyone else, to my knowledge, has not resigned except two people that, uh, uh, well, and, and, and a few others that have resigned. Uh, that is uh, uh, Fadzai Mahere, uh, uh, Rusty uh, Makam, and there was what is now looking like an abortive attempt to resign by one uh, Daniel Molakela. Uh, uh, and then he then got lost, or his resignation later got lost on the way to parliament. So it was not read, uh, uh, but he publicly announced it. So there are two, three people from our organization, in essence, that had formal positions that have resigned. Now, these three people, important as they might be to you, important as they might be to ourselves and the whole organization. But if three people resign uh, uh, from an organization, a country, or anything, it does not destroy the whole organization, nor does it mean that myself and all these other vice presidents and the various office bearers right down to the branches have resigned. They are still eager to, 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 to continue with the, uh, 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 what we set out to do. We, we, all we have at the present moment is a father who said, look, I'm tired of this family. Maybe there are too many adulteries, or maybe he now cannot identify uh, Tinashe Mugabester. Whose child is this? Whose child is that? Whose child is that? So he left. Now we are here. We are the children of Triple C. We, we read the letter of the father. He says, I don't know where I'm going, uh, but uh, very soon uh, I will tell you, you know, uh, Jesus like style. So we, we are now waiting, uh, uh, you know, for, for the second coming or third coming or whatever it is that uh, he will then uh, fashion it as, or the new of the new, 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 as it goes on like that. But now we who are of the old, uh, we were voted in 2019, we remain there. We, we await the announcement. We love him very much. We sing his name in public. We All our songs are about singing him. We sing him in our houses. We sing him everywhere. But he says, you are a discordant singers. The, 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 the music to him, are, to are us, you, to, to him. Are, are you, are you sh sure you, you were singing in Amman? <coughs> Even you seen me go to YouTube, you see me going Chamisa, Kakata, and things like that. So, uh, 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 you know, with, with our various talents, of course, myself, I, I, I sing a little bit less. I have another job as a lawyer, and I cannot be seen jumping up and down and so forth. But you see, other people who do not have strict professions, they would jump and sing, and some will fall down mm -hmm. uh, in happiness. So, when, when Douglas Monzora mm -hmm. took over the MDCT, mm -hmm. And he took over the MPs and the MDC Alliance. He ran the MDC Alliance as it were. Mm -hmm. We we had you speaking from different angles. We had Tendaibiti. We had even demonstrating at Harvest House. Tendaibiti, uh, Lynette Kairenyi Kore was arrested in full view of the public. When Sengezo Chawangu came in, all of you just chilled. We didn't chill. We followed the the strategic direction of the president. They appointed lawyers to fight. They had Even at that time when there were demonstrations, lawyers were fighting no, in court. At that time, we were in charge of that strategy. I was one of the leading lawyers. Tendai Biti was sitting in the court. All of us were participating in, in, in the various issues that were related to the, the Secretary General in protecting people, our law firms, and so forth. But at this particular point, the strategic direction and the tactics. And you know, when you are doing court cases, you, you, you are in an organization, the, 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 you use the alpha media. You don't sprout everywhere when it's not your responsibility to deal with that situation. These are legal issues. You will say something if, that will be if used I, in if an I say, of it. If I say you are cowards who want political power only because you are now just basically protecting your Where political Where is the power space? in being arrested? Where is the power in... You were, you were silent the, all the while no, 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 I, when you were look, looking for I, positions. I'm trying to ask you, that people seem to think that uh, uh, when we are in opposition, we have this, this power. You have. You wear, is it? you wear chains when you walk there. No, no, people no, no. people we, salute we've you. We've got a chairperson who, who spent two years 
in jail. Where is the power in spending two years in jail? You know me. I spent 50 years in jail. We are 50 only, years, yeah. I mean, 50 <laughs> days, sorry. Uh, uh, I forgot my Mandela shit. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, these days uh, we can all be there. But we, we suffer. We, you know, I was, we were on the wanted list post the 2019 election, the 2018 election. 19 of us, we were in hiding. His worship, Jacob Mafume, you drive, you are driven in a land cruiser, Today, in, a, in a Toyota land but cruiser. But that car can be taken. You, 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 you have power in Harare Over City who? Council. Over us, the citizens, <laughs> the residents of Harare City Council. I would like Council. to see it. But look, opposition is about sacrifice. People lose their lives. People lose their lives. Singh Yenzo Chabangu people, recalled people, people so that he can replace his name eh. and walk into Senate. He had a lawyer, Kukakapulu, who is now in Senate. You guys are not fighting for people, are you? You are fighting for your stomach. I'm not the one you who, are fighting I'm for money. I'm not the one who put them there. Uh, you are now a mayor subject to the recalls of Yeah, others. yeah, but I was a mayor last time. Subject, subject to, to a recall. Yeah, fight. so it, it's like being at a job, someone subject to something happening to someone. You are then voted, and I think I've explained it. it, it it's not automatic. You know, you, you, it's like you going and putting poison, uh, you know, as somebody, as a councillor in, 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 in me, and I die. And then there is a voting that happens. Fellow councillors then vote you to become the mayor. The causality and the logic is not making sense. Look, let's, let's be honest with each other here. What did you expect us to do? We have a president who has resigned. He has said, I don't want my job. And he put a lot of effort the pre in the pres writing the, president, the, the, the letter president. to say, I don't want my job. We are left with an organization where we have over 600 councillors, 100 and something MPs, and so forth. And what are we supposed to do? Sit. The, the president, before, Sit. before he resigned, he wrote a letter to recall you. No, he refused that. He wrote a letter to recall me. There's one um, mischievous young man calling himself uh, uh, Promise Mkwananzi mm -hmm. who uh, uh, wrote a letter. I'll challenge you to prove that uh, 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 Nelson Chamisa wrote a letter to recall me. Why would he recall me? There was a, a Promise Mkwananzi who are masquerading to be acting on the instruction of somebody who has resigned, who then wrote a letter to me. And he knows why he's done that. He's got contracts here. He's trying to persuade the Minister of Local Government so that he can continue with the, his contracts. He has got contracts that uh, are running, that, uh, 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 that uh, in a company named after his daughter, and so forth. And he, 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 he pretended to do our laboratory at Bottom Jeffrey. I don't know who gave him that contract. And he's trying to put in a surrogate mayor to do that. Nelson Chamisa had nothing to do with such gutter squalid and sordid politics being run by corrupt individual who is trying to intimidate the council and use the minister of local government and the minister of local government to further his selfish interests. Nelson Chamisa would never stoop so low. But what, the, 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 what I was trying to say is that we have a president who has gone. And uh, we are remaining there as leaders. We have to do something. There's, what can we do? We have to reconstitute our leadership based on the same basis that made the person who has resigned the leader. He was made a leader because of 2019. He wasn't born a president. He was the organizing secretary before. Daniel, Daniel he was the vice president Daniel before. Daniel Molokele was the spokesperson in 2019. Who remembers Daniel Molokele? Who did he speak for? He doesn't even understand the sequence of events. I was the spokesperson, as you know, going into the Congress. I was the spokesperson coming out of the Congress. At a later stage, I was then reshuffled. And he was then appointed. You know that. This is not new. The, the, the spokespersons it's, were, what, what were not elected at the Congress. Yes. yes. But, so, but, we, but when, when Congress happens, all of his bearers stop being office bearers at that particular point. Is it not correct? No. According to your constitution. That? According to your constitution. Which is close. Uh, how, 
organizations are not run like that, mm. uh, my, my, my brother. Yes. Uh, they, even even, they even, continue, even the government they, yeah, is not even, like, even, is even, not, even, even, certain, even government. They are, they are that all, way. All ministers stop being ministers upon a new president being elected. Yes, but they then and, and a new uh, president no, was elected no, no, at the no, Congress. No, no, no. The ministers continue. Uh, 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 which uh, which law school did you go to? I, I went to the law school. The minister of justice was issuing a statutory instrument just on the eve of the election. There is a provision. I said upon uh, the election uh, of a new president. Oh yeah, that's that's a national yes. that's a national constitution. Mm. Now we are talking about parties. You have to speak. You have to continue speaking. There is no vacuum. What happens is that the presidents come in and then they are given the mandate to then appoint other office bearers at a later date. So the president continues working with the officer who was there. I was running around calling for the press conference. I was running around linking with you. You. After the, do you think I was doing it because I think I was born linking with journalists? No. It was under a mandate. You, then, were, the, you, were, then, then, you were then removed. Then at a later date, I was... Uh, I thought I got a promotion. Uh, uh, what are you talking about? So you moved who, to go away. So I was who, then made, who then demoted uh, you back I, to the I, spokesperson? I, I got... A, 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 now, our, uh, what has happened is that the organization, we had a, a meeting as a leadership uh, that was there, and they decided that, look, uh, uh, Comrade Mafumi, uh, in this extraordinary situation that we find ourselves in, Mprofita Abba Pakrawa, Vatendi Varipo, Mprofita Ati Matimona Wandisa, Chimbota Urao, Tombeta Acting President, Tiono Kutikrawa Iri, Chi Chirunya Tsuitika, maybe Tika Zingrida Matimona, Mprofita Nutsukapai, Pakrawa. So, it's an extraordinary situation. It's very unprecedented in Africa uh, and, and in this part of the world. That uh, a, a leader of the biggest opposition party, not only in Zimbabwe, but in Africa, in terms of parliamentary uh, uh, standing and its presence in the various three stages of government, uh, can just live like that. This is unprecedented, uh, and it's so, something so that we, we have to... To, to, there's no book, there's no textbook on how we are going to handle the resignation of a whole president. Who, but life your, goes on. I mean, I thought your constitution would, uh, we, would have clarity. That is what we that. are doing now. We are following the constitution. It says that your presidents will be on a rotational basis. He, it's, well, it says there are three presidents hmm. and they, they both act uh, rotationally. You know, normally the president will appoint them in, in, in rotation. Uh, he would say if he lives today, he say. I, I mean, you know, it's happening now. Our very own. Uh, uh, that 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 is that uh, is. Chiwenga and Mohadi. That is if the president is there, but you uh, don't have a president. Yeah, but we we are in life. We we cannot... The constitution of Zimbabwe is very clear. If a president resigns mm -hmm. or leaves office for whatever reason, the last acting president becomes president. Mm -hmm. That is what it says. Yeah, but that's not what I was saying. What, what does your say? I was never envisioned that the, 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 the president will then uh, uh, live uh, like that. You know how party constitution. But you could have died. But, uh, but you yeah. could have died. Oh. <laughs> yes. yes so, have, so, so you had no envision whatsoever so what that we, your president what, what would leave office. What we have done in an administrative manner mm -hmm. and in agreement with the uh, uh, with the presidents themselves and the rest of the leadership is to say, okay, let's do uh, because we are close to the Congress anyway. Let's do an acting uh, role. Who's, who's your uh, treasury general? Who who is our treasury general? Mm. It's uh, David. He, uh, he was at this meeting. No, no, no. He was not. Who, who is who, who is your uh, secretary general? Charlton. Was it this meeting? Well, um, you can ask your question. Uh, uh, that is the question. Differently. That is and the question. Say who was? Uh, no, no, no I, my question is clear. All right, my, your question is clear. Was Charlton my when they? Let meeting? me give you a clear answer. Yes. And uh, and and an official position is the spokesperson mm -hmm. of the party. Those who were at the meeting. Uh, you have access to them. I know you are going to have an interview with uh, uh, the Charlton Wednesday. When is it? Uh, Wednesday or Thursday? Post that question to him. You're, 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 you're the spokesperson. I've yes. asked you about a meeting that, that happened. Uh, yeah. Was your secretary there was general at that what meeting? What I'm at liberty to say at this point is that that meeting was correct. Uh, it was chaired by the acting president and uh, the numbers that are 
sufficient to form a quorum where the, the acting president, as he is now, will uh, release the list and the minutes of that meeting that are you said, second you, to list public. You said the three vice presidents mm -hmm. agreed to rotate. Yes. Uh, we just saw a statement that says Lynette Kaireni Kore does not, does not even, was not even at this meeting, and she... You said statement from who? We saw a statement. From is who? That, is that a correct statement? From who? Is, that, is that a correct statement? No, I, I cannot validate. You don't even know where you saw the statement from. I know, but I'm asking you a simple question. I think this is a very simple question. Was Lynette Kareni Kore at the meeting and did she agree to I be a the vice president? At the meeting, the, you, vice, the, the acting president, the said, meeting was correct. You said you saw a statement. Yes. Uh, I, do you have the lever or the. I mean, mm. you, you, you are the leaders of this triple C. Yes, there's and, no and such okay, there's, of, I'm not afraid. Yes. There's no such statement. <laughs> A way did you see such a statement? Okay, was Lynette uh, put oh, differently? But let's first agree that put, there's no put, such statement. Put differently. Uh, put differently. But I don't want to answer for individual leaders. Put, put I, differently. I, it's a position of... of no, but, uh, but this is a world vice president. Is, and there, is an, an, there is an acting president at the current yeah, moment. But it, when you have the opportunity mm -hmm. to interview him, mm -hmm. uh, he will then disclose certain things. I, as the spokesperson, I'm here, I can assure you and the interested public that the meeting was correct and that there will be a rotational president. We are doing this because uh, we had an extraordinary situation where a president left the party. We are now taking but your extra, constitution, but extraordinary look, look, measures look, look, to be look, able to, to deal to fair, with this situation. To be fair with and you. we are now dealing with it. To be fair with you. As we move forward, we will be to be, to, be, yeah. to be fair with you. Yes, I'm your, fair. Your, your, your president was a lawyer. He's a lawyer. We, the, resigned, <laughs> the resigned president. Yeah, yeah. Your vice president and acting president is a lawyer. Thank you. Uh, your other vice president in IBT is a lawyer. Thank you. You yourself as spokesperson, a lawyer. And you have a constitution that does not provide for succession. It is, we've, we've dealt with it. No, you're dealt, you say we are dealing with an extraordinary situation, but there's nothing extraordinary about the president I'm power. happy that... Unless it's in Africa. I'm, it's, it's in Africa. We're yeah. in Africa. You, yeah. you, we, and, unless... We, and, you, seen, we, you guys seen, call uh, yourself Democrats. We, we, okay. Who it, don't prepare for succession? Blessed, what what, what blessed, kind blessed, of part is that? Where have you seen in, in the world where a, a, a president run, get, resigns from his own party without calling a meeting of his colleagues, without eyeballing his colleagues, simply says, I have resigned. A, as of now, on did, a, did, did he have colleagues? Hmm? Did he have colleagues? Oh, wait, we thought we were his colleagues. He, he, he called us brother. He attended our funerals. He came to our celebrations. We, he came to our court cases. He, we, we, he he ran, this that is the comrade you, you, thing he, to do. He, he ran this campaign by himself, didn't he? he, at, he at, Did, would you believe that? Do you? We honestly, saw him. We, he, we, in, in fact, in he, fact, he in fact, in one of the one of the lead stories mm -hmm. that came from the Newsday was that Chamisa in loan, uh, Cham, Chamisa cuts loan figure. There were, none of his vice presidents were there. Your, your seasoned political reporter. Yeah. A harmonized election cannot be run by one person. Going and addressing mega rallies as the main speaker is not running. Any, uh, uh, honestly, I don't know where you are going. With when this, you had, when it, it, when it, it can when be, you had Morgan Chagrin, you cannot ask. You when cannot, you had Morgan Chagrin, you cannot sincerely propose as a as a seasoned political journalist that one man, one man, can run a harmonized campaign. Do you, it's sing, not. It's sing, not. Sing, sing as a as a chabangu. Let me finish your argument. Sing as a chabangu. Let me finish your argument. He addressed star rallies on his own, okay? Right, he had his own style. He believed that he had a message and that he didn't want the message to be even diluted by introduction of other people. Maybe it was an inspiration, you know, like uh, how musicians come to a, to, 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 to a place, they get a vibe. So he was running a campaign, the star rallies, but you and me can agree that a political campaign can never, has never, and will never 
be run by one person. Senge Zuchabangu, your Secretary General, said that he ran this party like a tax shop. It had no structure. I, said, I just told you, the general sector, what are you talking about? So are you, if, okay, let, are you, as, are you as a political party going to deal with saying as well? Yes, the acting president is going to deal with that. Hmm. He's now the acting president. Mm -hmm. He's got a mandate to deal with that. Are you going and to recall him from parliament when no, he has I put said himself? the acting president. He, he, I've, I've not seen him in parliament as yet. The, there, the is, acting, there is a statutory instrument so course, that, that, yeah, so it is not so yet happened. So it, it so is the, not about the, 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 but the acting president has been mandated to come up with a strategy to deal with the various moving parts of our of our organization. Is Senge Zochabangu a member of the Triple C? He was a member. I say, is he a member of the Triple C? Yes, the he, is, he is a member. He, is he not? He is a member. No, I'm asking you. You can't yeah, ask I'm me. Telling I'm not you, part he's of a member. We know he was coming to the rallies and so forth. And, and remember, our party is membership was fungible. It was a citizens' uh, party. They, 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 there was no uh, formal register. People came, attended. You know, Tokozani Kope. Mm -hmm. Everyone, who, anyone could come from Zanu, from elsewhere, and so but forth. But that, that's not what the MDC Alliance Constitution says about fungibility of membership. Why are you confusing yourself in one interview? No, I'm not confusing myself. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the, 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 the party was a citizen uh, a membership. He, he came, uh, or anyone could come. You can be a member. Uh, your reporters so, can so be a member. So he, he has no register. He is not registered as the a member. The organ that's supposed to deal with it, which is the organizing department, is able to furnish us with the registers uh, as that is their constitutional mandate to keep. My constitutional mandate is to speak for the organization. But you just said there was no register, there was fungibility of membership, and now you're saying the organizing team has a register. If, if there is one, I'm saying if there is one. You, and as a spokesperson, I've not, 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 not seen it. Uh, or maybe I was not privy uh, to the information, uh, but if it is there, it will produce. If it is not there, we did have membership. I'm a member uh, as well. Uh, How did you become a member? Yes, so that's the that's the issue. I am an office bearer and a member of, uh, of, 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 of the Triple C. Mm. And elected as such on behalf of the Triple C. Not as on behalf of the MDC Alliance. The MDC Alliance was rebranded to the Triple C. So we were, so we were using, for the election purposes, mm. we were using the brand that we are using. This is why the constitution that was handed over by Chabangu we had triple C M D C alliance. Would that would that be the reason? It's a short work of the particular person who drafted that particular document. It do, it does so happens. Some people even uh, end up calling their own dissertation their own dissertation with words of others. Uh, sometimes it has to do with the draftsman and the people who proofread it. Mm -hmm. If it were me, I would have done a better job. Do you think that the triple C can retain? the confidence and support of the people in its state. The Triple C is the people. The people made the Triple C. They voted the Triple C. We are the Triple C. The citizens are the Triple C. Citizens have confidence in themselves. And, then, and the Triple C handed a two-thirds majority to ZANU-PF, which the people had refused ZANU-PF. Well, no, we didn't hand the, 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 the two-thirds majority. There was a cocktail of factors that have led us to where we are. Just in as much as they are a cocktail, they were a cocktail of factors that led us to where we were uh, uh, with the Mwanzora uh, issue. And remember, when the recall uh, of Mwanzora happened, people actually actively sought to be recalled as a strategy. You know, and, we, and some were resigning like confetti at the wedding. But tactics change. Right now, people have seen that it might not be wise just to get yourself recalled or to resign uh, uh, because what will happen will always happen. There are a cocktail of factors you've been reporting, and you know that uh, there are a cocktail of factors in this environment that create reversals of the gains of independence. The media is, is not stranger to some of these processes. Just recently, you know, the Daily News, a law was passed. Uh, talking about the registration of media houses, but it turned out to be the deregistration of media houses. We are in an attritional war with, uh, with the, the current uh, governing 
ruling party. And within that attritional war, they will continue to do things that will uh, 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 reverse our gains. Our duty is to fight whatever is placed in front of us and fight it effectively. Mayor, um, we are running out of time, but I, I would want us to shift our focus to the Harare, to Harare city. Now, Harare city is faced with a myriad of challenges. Yes. Failure of refuse collection, failure to deliver water, and bad state of roads. What is your plan? Well, our plan is to intensify, uh, to, to work and, 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 and make sure that we, we restore a city that does things by going back to basics. That is why we uh, petitioned the, gov the government to give us 53 tractors, which they did, which tractors are going to be used in terms of being the first line in refuse collection. We are also, well, we purchased the tractors. We are also looking at... Uh, given or purchased? Purchased. Uh, we, we, we are also uh, going to deal with the issues of compactors, uh, we have had joint operations with the Minister of Local Government around Chenesa Harare, where we went uh, and removed tons and tons of dump sites. And, uh, we are going to intensify the second phase of Chenesa Harare. I'm receiving uh, you know, good feedback on that. We are going to look at our sewer pipe replacement. Uh, the, the pipes from uh, Zivarase, Kwa, Kwa, Zana, Glenview, some of the main feeder pipes that go to our works, it, it become torn and tattered. So we are replacing all those pipes. The worst case is Amalindi, where the sewage literally pro pours out of the pipelines. So we've uh, awarded a tender to replace those pipes. We, we are also looking at solutions around water, uh, issues of our filters, expanding the scope of Moton Jeffrey, and more importantly, we, we, we have engaged ZESA in terms of collection of revenues. As you know, uh, in the early years, this, we used to have our own power station and we used to collect the energy bills. When, uh, 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 and, and now we are going to go into talks with ZESA to, for us to collect the energy bills, the rates and the energy bill in conjunction with ZESA because that used to make people pay because no one wanted a house without lights. But the moment they delinked electricity from rates, people can want save electricity. So we, 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 if that then improves our revenue collection, we are then able to reinvest uh, into other things. Then there are bigger things which are government uh, projects. For us to feed the water into Greater Harare, which is three million people, we need Mchekaranwa pipeline from Marondera to feed into Prince Edward Waterworks. We need uh, Chitungwiza to have its own water source, Muda Dem, which has been planned for a long time. We need to clean up lower Manyami and upper Manyami so that we can get water. And then we need people to, to pay out. Uh, and then we Some people argue that they've been paying this to council. They have been religious in paying their bills. One of those people is myself. Mm -hmm. I, I've been religious. I pay my bills, but I've never yeah, but seen a drop of water the, but in my the, house. The, 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 So why should I be? Yeah, made that's why to continue we to want pay? to assist you because it can easily become a chicken and egg situation. Only uh, forty-five percent of Harare residents pay their bills. Uh, we have huge data. Government is our is a huge data. The residents are a Can, can you just give us an the, indication of figures the, 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 in terms of what you're owed? Oh, we are owed huge. Huge money is uh, the only problem that the, f the value of our money uh, reduces in time. But at the last time, at the value, it it, it cost it was almost close to 90, 90 billion or, or so that we are owed uh, by the various creditors. But maybe after uh, this, I can give you the breakdown so that you can tweet about it. It's 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 huge. Uh, industry, uh, government, uh, commerce, individuals, people. In, 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 in the city simply just don't pay, uh, uh, except the faithful 45%, which 45% I appreciate. But it is my role uh, and duty to make sure that we don't overburden the 45%. Because what happens is if only 45% is paying, our accountants and mathematicians then do increases knowing that there's a 45% performance. So you then punish 
those 45% because you want that 45% to cover the whole budget. So mathematically, it then becomes a punishment to be a faithful pair. So I want to reverse that uh, we want as a council to reverse that eventuality, make sure that everyone pays. And that is why it is critical that we restore our relationship with energy, with ZESA. I've had a meeting with the Deputy Minister of Finance, uh, uh, the Deputy Minister of Agriculture, and the Chief Executive of ZESA. And we agreed, and we've set up teams to explore that possibility so that we, we, we deal with that. And then among other things, uh, why it is very important, the electricity bill is one of our biggest cost factors into water manufacturing because our plant uses 24 megawatts per day uh, uh, of, uh, of electricity. And it, and it used to be a book entry. Now it is an actual cost. So we've been hit in terms of non-collection and we are hit in terms of having to pay uh, that bill. But we used to own the power station. I want to take you to Pomona uh, Dam site. You yeah. used to be very vocal about it and you refused in the past when you were mayor uh, of that phase to pay and play ball. What is the situation right now with Pomona, Pomona Geogenics? And well, it is what it is. My, my, my predecessors or my successors uh, decided to cooperate. Uh, you saw uh, Mayor Makoni there at, uh, at Pomona. Uh, and when I come back, uh, uh, I fought. Um, the whole nation and the whole city was supposed to rally behind uh, me, uh, it would appear it didn't. Uh, so you gave up? No, I didn't give up. My position remains as it was. As they say in politics, I stand where I stood. So Harare <laughs> City Council is not playing ball with uh, Pomona Dam side? They were playing ball. Uh, what yes. is clear is that we are not paying. The fiscus is paying. So now it is a governmental project. It needs wisdom. You want me to say things that get me into trouble, eh? In its wisdom, <laughs> it's decided to pay. So let's leave it in its wisdom and see what it is they're trying to do. But what I can assure the Harare residents is that uh, the city of Harare is not footing the bill. Mm. Now, all, some people have said that, you know, getting into council, councillors talk a lot, they deliver barely. Yeah, we, we, we have to structure. We have this belief that being a councillor should be a, a voluntary job. Uh, we, we, we don't give them the facilities. My word, you spend the whole day just driving in it. It moves from the chase right to Glen Forest. And these are big words. Our words in Harare are bigger than constituencies in other towns. We have more voters for a word than MPs in other towns. So councillors are woefully under-resourced. They don't have uh, mobility, they, 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 they don't have access, they, they oh, hardly wh wh Where do you want survive. to be mobile? Are you the ones who deliver the service? Or we are, are the policy makers? We are the ones who, who get called, like you are saying, uh, you say your sewer has burst. You would want to get your councillor to come there and see. Uh, if. Uh, you are to report such and such a thing is happening. You need your councillor to, to be able to move. He needs also to even come to the meetings and not to be in court arguing a case because this is a big city. It has become, a, a, what you call it, a metropolis. It has become a metropolis. And as a metropolis, it actually needs uh, people who pay attention to its details. We need to look at the councillors of, in other countries, they grade their councillorship. In Zimbabwe, I, the mayor of Harare, get the same allowance as the mayor of Mwenezi. The only thing in Mwenezi is a Tototo making factory, uh, where, where they make beer from uh, Mukumbi, that thing. That's the only thing they do every day. Uh, they just make beer. But then uh, he gets the same a, a, a salary is, or allowance, as it were, as I do, which allowance which was being uh, bemoaned by uh, 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 Mayor Coltart, which is amount of $13. That I'm supposed to deliver the least 
of things. But we, that we, we, we all know that all of you public officials, what you get in salaries is a far cry from what you get in allowances. When you travel, you get a, a massive allowances. Uh, uh, we, we saw that when uh, just at the beginning of this year, when your councillors were going to a workshop and you were releasing around 12,000 just for a few councillors for two days. And that was huge. No, the, 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 that, the, that, that includes the hire of the venue and many other costs and, the, and mobility. But the fact of the matter is... Allowances went to around 250 United States dollars. No, 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 that, that, that would be criminal. There's no way allowances can reach that level. Look, uh, there's nothing to hide. I will be able to show you what I get. My accounts department is there. They can be able to calculate what we get. There is no way, there is no way we are going to attract people who are qualified to run the cities as long as we don't set a peg. In other countries, what they do, they categorize cities, category one, category two, category three. So that if you are going to be a, a, a councillor of category one city, there are certain qualifications that you ought to have and certain capacities. That, we've got to do that for our city, for ourselves. This is the city you live in, uh, uh, blessed. This is where your children will grow up to. If we don't make sure and mind who joins and governs the city, this is a big city. We have 10,000 employees. We, the biggest real estate we run power stations, we run the biggest mechanical plant in Southern Africa, Motor and Jeffrey, outside South Africa. We've got the one of the biggest fire uh, thing. We have over 43 the fire, thing, man? Uh, fire stations. We've got uh, over 43 clinics. We, we deliver 3,000 babies as city of Harare every month. We, 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 we produce huge quantities of water every day. We treat huge quantities of sewage every day. We have over 5,000 cattle. We've got over 10,000 buildings. Tell me, tell me this what, is what, a huge enterprise. Tell and me what people, you mean when you say you treat large quantities of sewage every single day. When you have a river of sewage running in your city, Mukuvisi River, you tell me what you mean yeah, when you say... Our capacity at fell is 18 mega liters uh, uh, per day. We are supposed to be to be able to take care of those rivers. We are supposed to have upgraded that sewer works to around 50 megaliters uh, uh, per day so that we are able to deal with the amount of sewer that is the, now being generated. The, your roads, Mayor, mm -hmm. your roads don't even meet even the specs of the standards and that you're talking about. That's another problem. We give all our money, and I've said this in time and again, everyone pays 20 US dollars per quarter in road licenses that you do. It is taken by something that was created called Zinara. They take 64 million US dollars every, uh, every year from us, and they give us 2 million. They've given us 2 million US dollars for the past year. They are very faithful at giving us 2 million dollars using a formula that was designed. So I've asked for just 50% of what Harare motorists contribute to this Zidara figure. We used to get all of it as Harare. Now we get two million US. I, the percentage is so small. We just want 50% to do the roads. There is something called fuel levy which they collect. Most of the fuel is used in Harare. According to the 2015 audit report, they got skisted four million in fuel levy. US dollars, everyone knows it is paid in US dollars. We get zero from Zinari of that amount. They, they, they've never given us a remittance in US dollars, but they get US dollars from fuel life. They collect carbon tax. Carbon tax, we, we are supposed to have quality air quality controllers in the city, measuring our air quality, and we'll be announcing every day, today put on masks, the air is not so good, and so forth, like every other city. We don't have that. Because all that money is taken by, by Zinari and we never see it. We only get two million uh, uh, US dollars of that money. I have raised it time and again. And like all the things that I raised, or uh, that I raised, I am left alone. Someone who comes and replaces me, they never raise them. Or they go in the opposite direction. But I, I, this is not money coming to Mafume household. I'm saying it must come to the Harare residents so that we manage things like we used to.
We're not even talking about what we are not Dubai and other people are doing. We just want to manage things like we used to. Open a tap and water comes out. Go into a road and you travel to your home. You see stress lights in the streets. Litter is taken every day. That is all we want. Just to do the basic, to be able to say, who is, if you put, who is standing in your path? In relation to, 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 to the roads, it's not, it's standing in my path. In relation to the uh, other issues, we have to pull up our socks uh, as, as councillors and as the staff of council and deliver to the maximum ability with what we have. And then we can then ask for more. My challenge is that I am not yet convinced by the, those that are within my setup that we are delivering to the best utilization of what we have. In the previous interviews I've had with you, you have spoken about President Emerson Dambuzum Nangagwa being one of the major hindrances mm. to the Harare City Council delivering. That has changed? Well, we, we, we have seen a huge amount of complementarity since I've come back. Uh, I recently said we received uh, uh, 53 tractors. Yes, we bought, but uh, we, we got them before we've even paid. Uh, we cooperated together on the Chenesa Harare, the removal of dams, which used to be a, a, a problem. And uh, there are a number of task forces that have been set up to assist us in water, uh, cholera, uh, and health. And, and, and I've officiated, as you have seen uh, recently, on the launch of the cholera vaccine uh, as the mayor of Harare, together with the minister of, 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 of health. I have said in the task force meetings, being chaired by Mr. Uh, Masuku, and, and I, I, I think for, for, for service delivery, if we are able to uh, maintain and go on that trajectory, we, 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 we can get a whole lot more things uh, done. Do you think ZANU-PF is now sincere in ensuring that Harare becomes the Sunshine City in light of what you're saying? They are going to host SADAK. I'm sure they are not going to want to host SADAK in a city that looks like a slab. Uh, I, 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 it will be counterproductive to, to, to any image that it has. Do you think this they is, are sincere? Yes, yes, they are going to, they have to be sincere. If they are not, then it will be a problem because it's not my city. It is not triple C city. It is our city. Sewage smells as bad to a ZANU PF person as it smells to a triple C person. Lack of water is lack of water to everyone. A bad road, a pothole does not choose the car that will hit it. So I, I, I think we can argue on other things, but this is our city. If we are going to be hosting international conferences, then we make we better cooperate to make it look good. They better be sincere. Recently, there was talk of dealing with vendors, uh, removing them from the CBD. I mean, you walk in First Street, there are people who are roasting maize there. What is the position? Ah, oh, those ones will remove. If it was up to me, it's just that people are a, a bit hesitant. In, 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 in cooperating with us in, in putting hard measures. I mean, there's no, no justification for someone to be uh, cooking gearboxes in First Street. Surely we can't have a country like that where you can order... <laughs> no, 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 no. We will remove those in the First Street and the First Street will be restored to its former glory and, uh, and, 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 and we need to do that we must have a zero tolerance to litter. We need to bring back the fines. We need to make our city clean. We might be poor, but we mustn't be poor and dirty at the same time. Mm. What, the, the, there was also issues around um, the city parking. What have you done to ensure that those issues don't recur? And yeah, we are, we are going to teach them to be a bit more humane in the handling of people. It's not a, a war with the motorist. The motorist is not a criminal. He doesn't come into town to want to commit offenses or to be a criminal. They are coming into town to, to deal with, uh, uh, what you call it, 
whatever they have to deal with it. So people must understand that traffic issues must not be handled the same way you would chase a robber and some such other person. Then we must increase technology. Some fines should follow people to their homes. Once you've got the car, you, the person gets a bill that, look, yesterday you did this, like what they do in other countries. You get a bill. The next time you are trying to pay something else, like we are going to link everything, ZESA, RETS, and all the payments that can be done, as it is done in other countries. You will find that your total bill is increased because of the traffic offense you committed at a certain area. And so we need to move uh, into a smart city. This, uh, 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 what do you call it, manual enforcement of the law leads to unintended consequences, harsh realities, harm to life, harm to property. And, and, and it is something that we are going to have to teach our culture. It's a, it seems like a cultural thing. You give someone a little authority, they behave like an a, a, a 18th century chief. Mm. Mm. Let's talk about the currency. How has it affected the local authority? The currency. Yeah, we've got to get a handle on the currency issues. If we don't get a handle on the currency issues, we're going to have problems. And particularly uh, Harari. Every time we want to collect uh, rates or something in hard currency, there's an uproar. They can't. So we are the, people then dump their uh, uh, RTGS to the city of Harare. But that is problematic because the very same people who has dumped currency wants us to give him clean water using chemicals that we would have bought using foreign currency. Wants us to give him a service, trucks to come and pick refuse using foreign currency. Yet he has paid RTGS to the city of Harare and insists that when we want to get foreign currency, then no, 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 why should the city of Harare get foreign currency? But, uh, you know, uh, landlords, I don't, maybe now you're a landlord yourself, eh? Landlords uh, uh, make you, you make people pay uh, in US dollars at your homes. No one is accepting a narrative, yes, uh, 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 rental. But they come with that rental that they've got for the water, for the tenants, they change it so that they can pay in our TGS. I don't understand sometimes our culture. We believe that institutions are there to be taken advantage of. But these are the institutions that improve the quality of your life and give you an ambience that you envy when you go outside the borders. I want to thank you very much, Mayor, for your time and for having this candid discussion with me. But <coughs> Before I let you go, Mayor, maybe you can look at the people um, that, um, that you represent, the citizens, uh, the supporters of your once huge party, which is disintegrating in our own eyes, and the citizens of Ferrari, and tell them what it is that they have to expect from you going forward. The, the emphasis uh, as we go forward is to build strong institutions, constitutionalism that are able to withstand the shocks of life. You must know that in the UK, uh, they've had a change of over four prime ministers within a space of five years. But no one has claimed that the UK is disintegrating because five, five, five prime ministers have either resigned or been voted out of office. We must understand that change is a factor of life. That is the reason why we emphasize on institutions, on constitutions, and building up uh, uh, frameworks that allow you to continue no matter the shocks that you receive as an organization and as a nation. We are confident that as a grouping and as leaders of the citizens' movement and the opposition, we will get over this period. We will be able to get our organization in a trajectory where it will be able to govern, where it will be able to compete for governance, and where it will be able to bring the current government to account. We know what has happened with our uh, former president. We, he has put it in his letter. We respect him. We respect him. We love him effect. But what we have to emphasize is that we have to move on. We have to go ahead and until such time as an individual and as a politician, he makes a decision that he can eyeball or talk to us about. 
we will be able to continue with the principles and the ideals that we believe in. And these are the ideals that we, we kept when Morgan Changrai and the rest of the original comrades moved on to the afterlife. We believe that we are able to continue as a society, as an opposition, and as a country, no matter what happens. Thank you. The city of Rome is shaking. The pillars want to keep holding. We will continue to follow these conversations for you and provide the responses and the answers that you need. I had a candid conversation with Jacob Mafume, the spokesperson of the Triple C and the mayor of Harare. What is clear, and is clear for all to see, is that power dynamics are shifting. Things are happening in the political circle. Well, the voters are at the receiving end. And what is going to happen between now and 2028 will determine the future of this country and if the change that the opposition says, says it wishes to bring to the people of this country will actually be brought. But this is the platform where we all talk to each other, where we listen to each other, and where we hear the views of others. This is the free talk in proud partnership with the Frederick Newman Foundation. And I, your host as usual, Dara Blessed. Until next time, please don't hesitate to like, subscribe, and share our content because we are the voice of the future. Thank you.